And it was a mental prison that I put myself in. It was a mental prison that I myself got myself into. You know, maybe my past as a kid growing up, not having mother and father together. You know, that in fact, they were never married. Self-doubt. Relationship. I, I ended a relationship that was a really my first relationship ever. So all these things, right? And basically from 20 to 25... That four and a half to five years was very, very bad, very dark. My good morning, everybody. It's Demise Media here. I changed my name from Demise Music and Entertainment to Demise Media. It's a lot quicker, straight to the point. This video is dedicated to uh, Arthur. I don't know if it's supposed to be Morales or Moraes, but uh, yeah, so four days ago, Arthur posted a video on my YouTube channel asking, uh, or he said, I miss you talking about life inside the car like in the old days. And uh, when I read that comment, it was on one of my stand-up comedy uh, videos that I posted. You know, I thought about it. I was like, wow, some people really like that uh, side of what I do, I guess, right? And uh, here I am doing it right now. Thank you, Arthur, for, for telling me that, you know. So I think I said uh, that I was pretty busy lately with my girlfriend and my son. Also been pretty busy, you know, with the band lately. We did a couple shows here and there and doing the stand-up. So I've kind of, I haven't stopped. See, what I did was I, I ended up prioritizing these other things which is very important to me as well, which is family. First and foremost, man, I have a two-year-old son. He's a little pain in my butt, okay? I kick his ass all the time. Uh, that, those are jokes, people jokes. But, you know, uh, prioritize family. And now that I've gotten into the stand-up comedy world, I've been doing that, you know, twice a week. So I do have time for this. There's no excuses, all right? I do have time for this for sure, but when it comes down to it, I was starting to realize that uh, it is time consuming being a father. It's it's uh, draining. It's emotional. Cha it's emotionally challenging because you have uh, you have to give up your time and your freedom to another person, which is your kid. So uh, you know, you before I would it would just be about me. And then when you get with a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend, right? Then you have to worry about them. It's all beautiful. It's all cool. But then you start to realize, uh-oh, it ain't about me anymore. It's about this other person. Now we have a kid. So it's just like, oh, shit. Me and her with each other and then the kid. So it's just this whole, like, beautiful freaking moment, which we're raising a kid. I feel like a, a man gorilla with his female gorilla and his little baby, you know what I mean? Or a bear and his female bear's little cub. You know what I mean? Like it's nature, it's natural, it's reality. It's a part of this uh, uh, earth that we're just, we breed, man, we breed. And I love my son. He's fat, he's uh, he's tall, he's, he's really big. He's gonna be two and everyone thinks that he's, uh, like he's gonna be two, everyone thinks he's three or four. So Arthur, thank you very much, Arthur. Uh, you say, yeah, that's nice, man. I hope you and your family are doing well. You're such an inspirational guy. Thank you. I make these videos and stand-up comedy and music and other videos to... Because it's what I love to do, first and foremost. Secondly, things like this. You know, these mean a lot to me, these comments. And every once in a while, I get these comments like with Arthur and other people have said, like my friend Christian, who lives here in California... That just fucking like hit my heart, man. Hit me corazón. I'm just like, thank you, man. Like it means a lot. It shows that people really care. You know, I want to be as transparent and authentic as possible and give you, whoever you are, you can be 50 years old, you can be 15 years old. You can be 45 years old, you can be 70 years old, you can be five years old. As long as the message comes across and it strikes you in your freaking mind and heart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and so Arthur also said, well, I'm always wondering about your professional life. 
because you do so many things, LOL. And I'd like to know if you ever fight it with any mental issue, like depression. Okay, so uh, per professional life. I did go to school, like college or whatever, for two, like around a year and a half. But I'm not a school person, so that's not... I worked so many jobs, I got fired from all of them almost. I've worked at Starbucks, Pete's Coffees, being a barista, I worked at fast food, Taco Bell. But as of right now, I just work like three, four times a week at this really cool spot. I'm not gonna drop any names or anything like that, but they, they literally give me the freedom to come in whenever I want and to leave whenever I want. And they're closed on the weekends. Uh, big shout out to my cuzzo for getting me the job, but you know, I get paid more, I have more freedom, it's less labor intensive. I'm basically like, I could just show up whenever I want, you know what I'm saying? And I could leave whenever. And I could work as many days as I want. I could work five, I could work two, I could work one fucking day. But as of right now, I have a balance of like three or four days, and uh, the rest, I just save my money, invest it in all the right places, and spend time with the, the kid and the goyle. And I'd like to know if you ever fight it against mental issues, like depression. This is the main reason why I want to make this video too, is because Chris, uh, Arthur is asking me about if I've suffered with any mental issues. Yes, and if you haven't dealt with any mental issues, you're mental right now. I'm just kidding. I think every person, every single person has dealt with some form of depression or anxiety or a form of depression like hmm maybe I'm not feeling too good today um, there's been a point in time Arthur where I was a raging alcoholic my grandmother was in her room crying just like saying I need help and there's something wrong with me uh, there was a point in time where I was uh, just buying booze every day, smoking cigarettes every every day. I think that's why my voice is all fucked up. One of the reasons why. And it was a mental prison that I put myself in. It was a mental prison that I myself got myself into. You know, maybe my past as a kid growing up, not having mother and father together. You know, that in fact, they were never married. Self-doubt. Relationship. I, I ended a relationship that was a really my first relationship ever, so all these things, right? And basically from 20 to 25, that four and a half to five years was very, very bad, very dark. My my cousin passed away when I was 17 and he was 19. He was like an older brother. So that was like the freaking, that was almost the freaking straw that broke the camel's back, whatever they say. but. You know, like, that was tough. And then once I broke up with my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend, I... That wasn't the main reason why either. It's just because I was like, fuck. You know, I was making music. I got into drinking. Then I didn't want to deal with certain things about my life, like uh, the way I grew up and the way I was living my life. And I was very nihilistic about religion. I was like, there's no God, there's no nothing, this is all bullshit. I was very in touch with my Native American roots, and I was like, oh, look at all this money, this money's so evil, and has these white people's faces on it. I'm half white, too, so that's ironic. Um, you know, and I was very nihilistic about life. This is meaningless. Uh, what happens after we die? Nothing. This is just fucking, this is, uh, this is terrible. Why are we in this? Um, and I never knew how to express my feelings, so how would I do express my feelings? Through the bottle, I drink, 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 smoke, chain smoking cigarettes like a crazy madman. You know what I'm saying? Just, and uh, I was there's been suicidal moments. I've had a lot of suicidal moments, and and I haven't, you know, I like tested it out when I was a kid. It's like I'm gonna strangle myself and all these little things. But you know, still from time to time, I'll have like these like moments where I'm like, I could just end it all. You know what I'm saying? right now and I don't know it's, it's kind of scary because you never know what happens after you die and you might want to come back to life you know and you can't even if you can think and you probably can't you're probably on a whole nother 
uh, universal plane uh, with the Godhead, perhaps. But maybe not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. No one knows. So that's why I don't say that people that kill themselves are cowards, necessarily. I say they're, in their own way, they're kind of brave. and They're, they're selfish. You're selfish for doing that. It's like, it the person did what they did. God, just leave them alone. So, um, yeah, Arthur, I did deal with some mental stuff, as you can see. But what I did was I said, Derek, or Demise... You have got to stop right, stop this right now. You're going to drink yourself to death or you're going to end up a uh, bum wino alcoholic on the st streets asking for money. Um, you either stop this right now. I was like 24 years old. And I said, you stop this, you go after your music and your uh, whatever entertainment, whatever it is. You focus on that and you prioritize that over your alcohol. You, uh, prior, what are you prioritizing right now? You're prioritizing a beer and some cigarettes. Cut that out. Don't not, don't quit. Just prioritize something else. And now, I don't even fucking drink that much. I drink when I do stand-up. Okay? It gets me a little loose. But at home, I rarely freaking drink. So I ease my way into it. I know a lot of people that try to quit cold turkey and then like, oh shit, and they, they're back on the wagon. Me, I, I, I didn't quit. I, I quit cigarettes. I haven't smoked cigarettes for three years, but I just, you know, it is what it is. But, Arthur, yes, I've dealt with mental issues. And if you are dealing with mental issues, Arthur, hit, let me know, man. Like, just be, be authentic about it. Be transparent. Let people know. Talk about it. Um, talk to me about it. I was in a really dark area, man. It was really depressing. I had beer cans stacked up. I had cigarettes just thrown everywhere. My room was a disaster. I didn't even know how to fucking take care of my health. I had to go to the hospital because my freaking pancreas was uh, inflamed. I didn't know what it was. I was like, what the hell? And then I went to the doctors and they're like, yeah, you're severely dehydrated. You, uh, you drink alcohol? I was like, every day, man, every day. And then she was just like, you're gonna, you can die from this. And I was like, damn, you know. And that was a, you know, I think that's after I already made the decision to cut back. You know what I mean? That that was a real, that was even more depressing and mind-altering. I was like, what? So, be careful out there, everybody. Uh, Arthur, talk to me, man. You know what I mean?